Good morning, everybody. What's up? This is Sam, or Sam I am. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my home, and welcome to my art rooms. Just welcome. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Super excited to be here with you, my favorite peeps, my YouTube friends. Uh, on the other side of the camera, we'd be friends too, because I love friends. All right, today I'm going to do something I've never done before. We are going to attempt to make a mold. Yep, we're going to make a mold of a gnome. I've been looking for a mold of a gnome, and I really couldn't find one that wasn't Christmassy looking or Easter looking or the whole 3D thing. So I said, you know what? I got this mold making kit. I am going to try and do it. And I'm going to do it with my friends, see how we do. So the mold I have in the cup, upside down that I'm afraid to move, right here in camera view, you can see down in there, I have him evenly placed in the middle of one of, well this one's dirty, but this size cup, which is 24 ounces, 24 ounce cup. And he is upside down on his little hat. And I put him upside down on his little hat with air dry, oh man, I don't wanna hit that. Air dry clay from Crayola. This big old thing I got on, guess what? Samazon, not Amazon, but Samazon. No, I'm just playing, it's Amazon. I just Googled air, or searched air dry clay. This came up, it was a good buy. I've used it several for several projects, so put it in your little collection of art supplies. My recommendation. Okay, so the kind that I got of silicone rubber is Startso World. It is 10.6 ounces, 10.6 ounces. You mix it, oops, here we go. I gotta remember to stay in camera, y'all. Um, but it's one to one ratio, one A, one B. That's all you do and mix it up. And then you pour it in on your piece that you are making. Um, that's really the directions skim down. Uh, you want to let it cure in 73 degrees, basically like resin. Um, use vinyl, not latex gloves, because it'll inhibit, uh, latex will inhibit the cure of the rubber. Store and use material at 73, I already said that. Silicone rubber may be inhibited by certain contaminants in or on the pattern to be molded. Let's hope that's not the case, resulting in tackiness at the pattern interface or a total lack of cure throughout the mold. If compatibility between the rubber and the surface is a concern, a small scale test is recommended. Apply a small amount of rubber onto a non-critical area of the pattern. Inhibition has occurred if the rubber is gummy or uncured after, after the recommended cure time has passed. Materials found to cause cure inhibition include sulfur-based modeling clays uh -oh, and latex rubber, which I really don't want it stuck to my clay anyway, right? We'll see what happens. To prevent inhibition, apply a sealing agent, apply a barrier coat of clear acrylic lacquer sprayed into the clay surface. Although not usually necessary, a release agent will make demolding easier when pouring into or over most surfaces. Then I told you do part A and B equal amounts for three minutes, scraping the sides and the bottom. You wanna pour in a single spot at the lowest point of the containment field. Let the rubber seek, I think it should be seep, maybe it seek its level up and over the model. A uniform flow will help minimize entrapped air. The liquid rubber should level off at at least a half an inch over the highest point of the model surface. I don't know that I'm gonna get a half an inch, but I'm gonna get pretty close. This might be a complete flop. Hey, like my last uh, project, but you know what? Uh, yeah. I told a couple of my viewers that it's as floppy as the Easter Bunny's ears. My last project. Isn't that funny? I think it is. Make myself laugh. Okay. Uh, curing allowed to cure prescribed six hours at room temperature. 
before demolding. Post curing the mold an additional four hours at 150 degrees or 65 degrees Celsius will eliminate any residual moisture and alcohol, which is byproduct of the condensation process and may inhibit some resins. Allow mold to cool to room temperature before using. Do not cure rubber where temperature is less than 65 degrees. Okay. There's some other blah, blah, blah. Keep out of reach of children. Use an adequate ventilation. Important information is contained in this bullet. <laughs> bulletin. It's considered accurate. But there's no warranty. Okay, there's some other stuff. I think I went over the main important things. You could have fast forwarded that. Sorry, I just felt like I needed to do that. Okay, uh, four of these cups, which are uh, 100 milliliters. Four of those, and then some sticks and some gloves came with the two parts, A and B. All right, so I cannot delay this any longer. These are the three that I got, and I can't wait for you to see the other one. Aren't they cute? Guess where I got them? Dollar Tree. Yep. So let's see how we do. I got some cute frogs. If this works out, I'm going to do those too. But I'm going to need a heck of a lot of silicone to do them. I didn't think it was going to take this much, but... Oh, shucks. It's coming out. Yeah, oh, it came with these little screw tops on there too. All right, here we go. I should take these things off. I'll be here all day squeezing. I don't need them since I'm going all the way. We are going all the way. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let's go. I've been wanting to make this mold for a long time. Not this particular one. I've been wanting to make a mold. Because I love my molds. And if I can get that big container full of mold maker to make all kinds of molds, that's what I'm going to do. I am. I'm going to do that. Make me some molds. This is more fluid than resin. Well, part A of resin anyway. Sorry guys, you can fast forward this a little bit. I'm not gonna stop and fast forward for you. No, I'm not. I am not gonna do it because I feel like being ugly. No, I'm just playing. No, it's easier for you to do it than me. But you could just stay here and listen to me make noise. There's still a lot coming out, y'all. That's good. Trashola. Trashola. Okay. And then we're going to mix this for three minutes. So I'm going to pause you while I mix, okay? I'll be back. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Got all the silicone stirred up. Three minutes, maybe four, just to be thorough. So now I'm going to pour. I moved, I switched areas because I'd like, I don't want this to be holding up my area for four hours. Cause I got other things to do y'all, other things to do. So here we go. Can't put it off any longer. It says in the lowest spot, which I don't really have a low spot. So I'm gonna do it on the side to eliminate the bubbles. Y'all wish me luck. And I got just enough. Look at that. Just enough, y'all. 
Then I got lucky. So lucky. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get the singing jean. I got the dancing machine. I mean, dancing jean. Because I can be a dancing machine. Well, I used to be. For my injury. I remember the days, though. Jamming. Shaking your booty. Having a good time with your friends. Oh, yeah. I got those memories, and I'm thankful. Everybody should dance. It's good for the soul. It's good activity. Exercise. All right, y'all. So now the bubbles are going to seep to the top. Do their thing. And our silicone's going to harden up. And hopefully we'll have a cute little noom. And after that, I'm going to pour it. And we'll see what happens. Okie okay, doke. Don't go anywhere. Good morning, everybody. What's happening? I hope you all are well still. I know it's only been a second for you. It's been a whole night for me. A whole day and night, actually. And our silicone is very much solid. It's actually very hard silicone. And I already know I have a problem. I thought about it as I slept last night. Well, on my way to sleep last night. I shall show you, and you've probably already figured it out. I'm going to take this blade and see if I can cut this cup. This sucker is very durable. If I can just get it started, I think that it'll make sure this thing don't break and send a flying razor to my eyeball. Uh-oh. I thought it wouldn't stick to the plastic. Oh! I got it. I got it. I had to use the bosom. The bosoms are always good for these kind of projects. Bear with me, y'all. I got big bosom, but not that big. I can't put them in the screen. Uh-oh. The bottom is liquidy. I don't know what's up with that. Let's wipe that. Let me get a wipe. Now how can the rest of it be so hard and this be... Maybe because of the clay? Uh-oh. We got a hole. Oh, man. What? Is it because of the clay, y'all? Shocks. It didn't work. He's not going to have a hat. Oh, I might be able to come up with an idea. I gotta get this all cleaned up. Let me do that real quick. And I'll show you what we ended up with. But I forgot. Look, y'all. It wasn't going to work with the tip of the hat anyway. Because I put it down in the clay. So I'm going to have to come up with an idea for his hat. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let me get this part out of here and I'll be back okay guys this has been an absolute mess and not gonna work I had to split it all the way down the side to get this homeboy out and look it's got all that stuff down in there that was his paint and stuff so this is a flop that was a waste of 20 bucks so this is what we don't do I I guess the clay made it sticky. I don't know. Maybe it just cured like that. But this is the start so. Isn't that what I called it? Let me see. Hold on. I'm digging in the trash, y'all. There is it. There it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. Should have brought it out before. Start so. So, I guess either try it yourself, see if it was the clay, or actually I'm going to recommend you don't use it because this silicone is so hard, it worked me to death to get this little guy out. So, um, I think the moral of this story is don't use an item that has paint on it. Um, I don't know if the clay was a good or bad idea. 
and you can try this for yourself. I've done it for you and I wouldn't, but that's your choice, you know? It's free world, free country. Well, here it is in the United States. So you do what you can do or what you wanna do. I am gonna recommend this is a flop. But if you think I did a good job on this flop, can you give me a thumbs up? And if you haven't subscribed, if you would subscribe, if you look down in the right hand corner, that subscribe button, all you have to do is click it. And unless you sign up for notifications, you won't be bothered by a bunch of uh, notifications. Ding dong, the witch is dead, ding dong, the witch is dead, I don't know. Anyway, I would appreciate it very, very much. It will help me and my channel grow because the algorithm is what makes it grow. The algorithm is tickled by likes, subscribes, and shares, and visiting and looking at multiple videos in a row. So I would kindly appreciate that. A uh, couple things of business. I have a new, oh, I can't touch it. Um, I have a new thing going on, a new contest. Let me grab this. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm not prepared this morning. This is kind of throwing a wrench in my fan, you know what I mean? So let's talk. Oh, how about those storms going across the United States? I, if any of you are in those areas, I am so sorry and hope everything is well for you and your family and your friends and your town. I hope everybody is okay. Okay, let me grab this and I'm not gonna touch anything. Hold on. Actually, I gotta move this. So let me move it over yonder. Do y'all know where yonder is? Some people don't. Cute story. My son, I mean my nephew, we were out at the campground and they were doing trick or treat at Halloween time. And my nephew comes running up to my dad and my dad is as country as they get. But my nephew comes running, granddaddy, granddaddy, where's everybody at? He goes, they're over yonder. And my nephew takes off running and he comes back, he said, granddaddy, where's yonder? It was hysterical. So he was like uh, seven, I guess. But you know, it was just cute. Maybe he had to be there. I don't know, I hope you're laughing. Okay, now let me get what I was talking about. Now, my friend, Miss Wanda from Wanda's Blessed Creations, she has this thing that she does and I'm copying her, sorta. She does a monkey coconut head for blessings that she receives. Well, I'm sort of doing the same thing, except I'm using the amazing acorn. Isn't it cute? Yeah, so I have some names in there, and I would like to get more names in here. And to get your name in here for this contest, which let me show you the prize. Let me show you the prize first. It is right here. It's kind of big, I can't put it in full screen, but there you go. See how big that is? See how wide that is? Can you see? Ugh. Not doing very good here. Here we go. There's how wide it is. That's how long it is. Okay, it's pretty big. Pretty big. Let me show you the one I did. You might not have seen it. You might not have seen it, but this is the one I did. See? It's got the peacock feathers in it. I'm really having a hard time getting this all in there. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so that is called a bath board and you put it on the bathtub. So you can put your book there, your glass of wine or your tea or whatever it is you like to enjoy when you're soaking in the bath. When somebody draws your bath and puts a candle in there with something sweet, it's even better. Okay, so that's the prize. In order to get in the drawing, you got to show some support for the channel, either by making a donation of some of your supplies that you haven't used and you'd like to donate. That's more than welcome. And maybe I can do something with it on one of my videos. Um, another thing, you can make a PayPal donation, buy me a cup of tea. Anything that you would like to show support to the channel, my email is listed in the description 
just send me an email if you're looking for my address. And um, I don't like to ask for things. So that's why I'm making a contest out of it. I thought it was a pretty good prize. Um, another way to support is the Amazon wish list that's listed in the description. So this is all an effort to support the channel so I can continue bringing videos to you. Um, as you all know, resin is expensive and the supplies that go with it is expensive. And I would like to continue on doing videos and I need the support to do so. Again, it's voluntarily, it's, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, of course it is. And I, like I said, don't like to ask for stuff. I'm not being greedy. I just thought maybe those out there who enjoy the videos and would like to see more videos and appreciate my uh, words of wisdom and my uh, tips that I pass on to you. Uh, another thing I have going on, oh, that's it for that. Another thing I have going on is uh, honorary color in your name if you make a PayPal donation. All of those uh, details are down in the description. That is another contest. Rather than confusing you, I will ask you to look at the details in the description. Uh, another thing I have going on is you like, subscribe, send me a comment that you did like and subscribe, you will be entered in the contest for the pigment paste from Just Resin. It's a pack of five and it's the Ocean Basic Color Pack. Um, I accidentally ordered two. So I thought rather than sending it back, I'm gonna do a giveaway. And the way that we are gonna give this one away, once I get to 500 subscribers, then I'll draw a name. Or actually I'm gonna generate a number because everybody that likes, subscribes, sends me a comment and tells me that you did so, I'm gonna send you a number back. And at the end, once I have 500 subscribers, then we will generate a number to see who the winner is. And like I said, the winner wins the pigment paste. Okay, so that's three different contests I have going on. If you want to get in on the action, read the details in the description. Send me an email if you have any questions. Uh, another thing, I'm trying to get my Facebook up and going. In the description, my link for my Facebook page is there. I say I am Resin Crafts on Facebook. I live in uh, uh, North Carolina. That should be, I don't think there's any other same I am Crafts in North Carolina. Then, an exciting announcement. I don't need drum roll. I am doing a collaboration, yay, with Miss Wanda from Wanda's Blessed Creations. She and I have become YouTube BFFs. Well, she is my BFF, anyway, on YouTube. And I love her to death. So, we reached out to each other and said, let's do a collaboration. And that's what we're going to do on April 5th. She and I are both going to post a video. This is a surprise for she and I both. We don't know what we're doing. The only thing we agreed upon is that we use our eye candy pigments or, you know, micas or paste, either one, from eye candy because we're both affiliates with eye candy, so we thought that would be a pretty good idea. Again, that's April 5th. Miss Wanda and I are doing a collaboration. Don't miss it. Make sure you tune in to see hers and mine. I will put a video link of Miss Wanda in the description. I got a lot to add, to add to the description. I hope I put it all in there. If I mentioned something and I didn't, send me an email. Send me an email anyway just to say, hey, how are you? Okay, I think I've covered everything. That was a lot. That was a mouthful and I'm sorry. So, this video, uh, Crash and Burn, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I taught you something. I don't know. We're going to post it anyway. The last flop I did, I posted that. I'm going to show you my flops and my good ones. Why not? Right? Right. All right, guys. Till next time. I love you. Mean it. See ya. Bye.